the reboot of Family Affair in 2002, um, I have to be polite. <laughs> it was awful. And uh, I was going to do my own remake. And somebody overheard me saying that, oh, this, something is in the works to do uh, a reboot. So Sid and Marty Croft did it. And uh, they said, oh, okay, come and, and do a cameo in it. And I said, that's fine. They made 13. It lasted for nine. I have a new one coming out called Aunt Sissy that is a reboot and a remake. I always think a show, and there's so many reboots on now, there's much better if they have someone from the original cast and a sequel. Then what happened? Then what happened? So we have a, a lot of good interest in doing that. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I love the Strawberry Festival. I love strawberries, and it was so much fun being the Grand Marshal and saying hello to everyone. Kind of rained on our parade a little bit, but it could not uh, obliterate all the joy and all the people coming out to, to say hello. And it was the first time I was the Grand Marshal of that parade, and I, I really, I love a parade. When I was a little girl, and I have been in this business, I won't even tell you how many decades, but many. I mean, one of my first things was the Ten Commandments, not the silent version. So, you know, I've been there for a while. But I was in the Hollywood parade, and I remember I was wearing, like, a, a muff to keep my hands warm, and my mom had bought me a new coat, and so I, I thought it was thrilling. I hope to do it this year. I loved Patty. She was a, and became a very good friend of mine. When I was in high school to this day, my most favorite role that I've ever done in my life was the miracle worker. And I, I loved that so much. And uh, doing the show, what I learned from her, she was really professional. She just was like boom, 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 boom wasn't advice per se because we were kind of peers at, at that time even though I hadn't done Family Affair and she wrote the foreword to my book Surviving Sissy and I talk about that and then just a couple years ago a, a new book came out in the presence of greatness about Patty and I was honored to do the audiobook version and as I was recording it was like you know, I was channeling her, and she was there, and she was leading me on the way with, with all the experiences that she had and everything she went to. She died way too young, as so many of our my peers are doing, but she was a treasure, and a treasure lost, but she'll never be forgotten for sure. Well, as I said, my favorite thing was doing the, the stage show, uh, Miracle Worker, when I was in high school, a high school production. But lately I've been doing some very interesting movies that I really like. I've just done a new movie called Yellow Bird, and this film has just won four Best Feature Awards in four film festivals, international film festivals, Santa Monica International Film Festival, the Mediterranean Film Festival, which included Milan and Cannes. It will be released in about three months, so I'm very excited, and you guys can keep one of these fabulous bags, and you can put it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're welcome. Well, I taught voiceover for about a um, long time, about 20 years. But the young actors today have to realize that it isn't just glamour and fun and what you look like at the Golden Globes or, you know, what other things. I actually have a dress that I wore at the TV Land Awards. That's a collectible that, that's here for, for people to, to buy in, or my, my lunchbox, but I bring interesting things. But it's, I graduated from UCLA with a degree in, in speech. How could you tell? Can we shut her up? And a master's degree in theater arts. And I say, you have to work for your profession. And as I say, it isn't all glamour and fun like that. You have to learn your lines. You've got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. You've got to, you know, you may not get home till 10. And do that every day. And you have to know your craft. You have to study. And 
if you don't go to college, and you don't necessarily have to college. I was blessed to go to UCLA, and, and I worked hard uh, to get my degrees, but I learned a lot, and I went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. But there are some very good teachers, not only in Los Angeles, but now that, that are online that you can Zoom and that you can bring in a partner. So I would say, first of all, learn your craft before you even put your, your face in front of the camera. And today, learn how to shoot. Know, you know what a back, good background is, what a good ring light would be, because after COVID, everyone's Zooming, so you also have to uh, conquer and understand that kind of technical things that was not asked of an actor before. So, and another important thing, one of my books that I wrote oh, is Ex-Child Stars. And what happened to a lot of these child stars, you know, they were just dependent on, oh, well, I was a child actor and I'll just segue immediately into adult roles. Well, it doesn't work that way because a kid is, you know, a natural and it's good and they like that in a kid, but you have to learn how to be a character. So, work hard, learn the business, learn the technical side, and don't take drugs. Ah, uh, Aunt Sissy. I uh, alluded a little bit to that, that we are working on, on Aunt Sissy. So we have the sizzle reel for it, we've got um, an investor for it, and now we're trying to see what might be the best placement for it. But it will be like an eight episode arcs. I'll give you that much. And that's what I can tell you about it.